Hey family, it's Vlogmas Day 3. I know this isn't a very um, Christmassy uh, scenery, but I wanted to give you a better uh, view than what I'm looking at because I'm in complete darkness. I may take this off and show it to you. So uh, again, it's day three. I posted up day one and day two. Um, yeah, so... Looks like today, the only thing that I have definite plans for is to go to church. And so, <clears throat> my church, it has a uh, regular service and it has, um, and it has um, virtual service. And so, um, <clears throat> yeah, so they have virtual service as well. And so... That's a nice uh, thing to have. You know, you could kind of choose or if you're sick or whatever, you can just go virtual and uh, be a part of the service um, as it's going. And so um, we can access the service through Facebook or YouTube because the church has a YouTube channel as well. Uh, the name of the church that I go to is I Thrive here in Georgia. So. Do you guys go to church? Do you go virtually? What do they call that? Uh, bedside Baptist? Or <laughs> do you just go? So <clears throat> there have been several instances where I choose not to go. Um, I think about a month or so ago, I was getting over a cold. And every now and then I would have coughing fits. So I would just, um, I I think that particular week, that I was recovering, I decided I was just going to stay home because I said, it'll be just my luck. I'll be in service, getting into the word, and I'll start, I'll have a coughing fit. And then not only that, people don't want, you know, you sit next to people. They don't want you to be coughing and gagging and carrying on. But anyway, so I think that's a really good, um, I'll call it a feature option. Let's go with option for church. Um, let me know what you, you know, do you watch or whatever. So in yesterday's vlog, I forgot to show you guys, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh man, um, Spelman College, you know, I used to go there. I used to work there and was taking class there and, and, and I got my degree from Spelman. Spelman has a yearly, uh, a, a Christmas concert and they partner with, um, Morehouse's, um, uh, the um, choir or whatever you want to call it at Spelman's called the Glee Club. And so they partner with Morehouse's. Uh, and, you know, I worked at Morehouse, too. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And I don't even know if they if they call it the Glee Club or whatever, because I was at Morehouse longer. I mean, Spelman longer I, there and was a student. There are certain things that terms and, and whatever I know uh, or more familiar with. So I should have took taken a snippet of the the um concert I was watching on Facebook. I also shared it on my Facebook uh page. I noticed there were a couple of people that I used to work with at Spellman. Um I guess I don't know, I guess they kind of peeked or they saw that I had uh, shared the um live stream and they kind of liked, you know press the like button or whatever, or maybe they decide to share it as well. But one thing is that, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the group, Mary, Mary, uh, Erica, what's it? I can't, I can't think of Erica, Erica Campbell, <laughs> uh, one part of Mary, Mary, her daughter goes to spell me, her oldest daughter. I think her name is Krista, a beautiful voice. She, she's just as talented as her mom. I think all of the kids are. Um, and the, her mom and dad, the mom and dad, Erica and um, I can't think of her, hus her husband's name. They're just talented. And, um, you know, he's a producer. He's a pastor as well. They do have a church together. And matter of fact, the youngest child did that viral uh, nationwide um, meme or video, whatever that you see all on social media. But anyway... Um, that was a treat. It was really good. The 
the Spelman College Glee Club is awesome. And um, I, the whole time that I've been there, I was thinking about that. I never want, I wanted to go, but just heard stories about it and kind of, uh, kind of not bad stories. It's just like, you know, it's long and it's, um, it's crowded because they have it in what they call Sisters Chapel, the chapel there on campus. And a couple of nights they have it on Spelman's campus. And then a couple of nights they have it on Morehouse's campus. And they always have it on Spelman's first. And so the staff and faculty always had, they always gave us one ticket. You only had one ticket. Now, if you wanted more, I think you had to, I can't remember what the the, the process was for that. But anyway, um, I should have included that in yesterday's vlog. That would be something. Because yesterday was just really a lazy day. I didn't plan on doing anything. Um, I kind of thought I was going to be up and about, out and about. And I decided I'm just going to stay home. Um, there were several weeks where I had something planned. I had to get up early, had to, you know, make sure I uh, caught the post office or whatever, a store before it closed, you know. And so Saturday was just a day where I just wanted to just not really kind of do stuff around the house or just not do anything. And so as you can see, I really didn't do much. Um, some of the things I just, most of the things I just told you about, I didn't even show you. So I have to remember because I'm so not used to um, vlogging. And I think, um, you know, once I become used to it, you know, I will include you in just about everything that I do. So I'm asking for grace about my hair. <laughs> I'm trying to, I've been um, natural for a while. And so um, i trying to figure out what products work really uh, great on my hair. What doesn't, what works with my hair, what doesn't. So I kind of wanted to give you another scenery. So I feel like this isn't my bedroom. It's just <laughs> a scenery. It's not too far from it. This stuff, um, you know, kind of laying on the bed. <laughs> I do have stuff laying on my bed. But anyway, um, yeah, give me a little bit of grace with my hair. I'm trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. Um, yesterday seemed to work as far as, um, you know, how the, the, how the texture of my hair feels after it dries. Um, so yesterday, what did I do anything different? I didn't do anything different. There's a shampoo, uh, pre-shampoo that I put in my hair and it's, it helps to detangle the hair and, um, yeah. And so they, and that might've been half of it. So they suggest that you leave the, that on your hair for, uh, between 15 and 30 minutes, especially if your hair is extra dry, which my hair is. And so I put that on. They, they say to be very generous with it. I put that on, um, put the uh, cap on my head, did a couple of things. And I believe I had it at least on for like 15 minutes. Then you rinse it off and rinse it out. And then you shampoo your hair as uh as you normally would. And so that's what I did. I put the pre-shampoo in and I um, uh, rinsed it out and put and uh, shampooed my hair. The next thing I did was use um, Tabitha Brown's uh, leave-in conditioner. Um, it The sweet potato, I don't know if she has ever, another version that has a different aroma to it or smell to it. This is sweet potato sweet potato pie or not sweet potato pie, sweet potato. And so I put that in and that really feel makes my hair feel um, soft. Again, I, like I said, I have dry hair. Um, I put that in and then on top of it, I put the curling cream that I use from African Pride. That seems to help with my hair as well. So I put that on. So normally I would do two two uh, strand twists 
Um, but today I just tried to, I don't know what you call it, where you would kind of twist the hair around your finger. And that's what I did. And so that's why my hair was looking kind of crazy. You saw it yesterday. But I really like the way my hair was feeling. And so again, I'm not sure if that had anything to do with the pre-shampoo um, solution that I put in my hair uh, before. And so I normally use that, but I don't believe I ever kept it in as long as I kept it in before I shampooed my hair. And I think that's what, well, one of the things that is make, uh, why I'm, you know, happy with the way my hair feels. Another reason is because of that Tabitha Brown uh, leave-in conditioner. It's, I, I really like that. Um, there's another item of hers I ordered. Uh, I never see it in, in uh, Target. And I guess I should have went to TabithaBrown.com and got it off her website, but I got it off of uh, Amazon. And I noticed the prices are similar to what's in Target or whatever. So yeah, just give me some grace. I'm going to try to make my hair look halfway decent before I go to church. And uh, yeah. So, excuse my uh, bathroom. Anyway, I wanted to show you the, the items that I was talking about that um, I used yesterday. So this is the pre-shampoo uh, detangling condition uh, um, stuff that I put in my hair. Then this is uh, Tabitha Brown's uh, Extra Creamy Leave-In Conditioner. And then this is the Curling Cream. So, um, yeah. There you go. So this is what the um, pre-shampoo looks like. It's, as you can see, it's kind of, it's like a slippery uh, kind of consistency. Um, so you know why, like when you put it in your hair, it really, really, um, slides through your hair. This is the consistency of Tabitha Brown's, uh, leave-in conditioner. And this is the consistency of the curling cream. And so you can see this is like, it's much thicker. The, um, leave-in conditioner is a little bit water, more waterier. <laughs> is that a word? But anyway, this is uh, thicker. Now, this is something else I didn't talk about, the extra creamy hair and scalp oil. So this is it. Uh, this is great as well. It's good for your, um, just to oil your scalp and to um, put it on your hair as well. Hey, so I'm down. I'm dressed now. Um, so I was at the first lady of the church. Um, she posted these daily scriptures. Uh, it's a daily scripture writing plan. And so today's is John 4, 7. Uh, there cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, give me to drink. I'm just going to read a couple more. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, asketh drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with Samarians. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink thou would, wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. I wanted to get to that part. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not going to try and minister to you guys. That's not my calling. <laughs> It's just something that um, I'm going to try to do this month along with vlogging. And um, yeah, so just wanted to share that with you. So I kind of wanted to share with you quickly my Poshmark closet. <clears throat> Up top, you can see that's my, um, that's how you can get to my closet. And these are some of the items that... Uh, there's some a combination of my items, my parents' items, uh, whoever, and you can see the items that were sold. Some fairly new to Poshmark, um, 
haven't even a matter of months. Like I don't I don't even know how many months. Um, almost a year. I think next year, sometime it'll be a year. But um, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. Hey guys, so um, went to church, and the weird thing about it, I was gonna try to share at least um, show you part of what um, was streamed on Facebook, but um, they made an, an announcement that the um, something was going on with the Wi-Fi. So anyway, um, but service was really good. So when I left, I went to go get a couple of um, uh, Christmas presents. So uh, family members, and so I'm not going to show them because I, I think sometimes my family members watch my videos. I don't know. Who knows? But I did want to talk about this here. Oh, brown. Oh, Lord. Am I going to have to take this? Brown sugar cinnamon. Um, This is really good. I put it in. I haven't tried it in coffee yet, but I put it in my tea and it's really, really good. Um, Doesn't make it too sweet. It doesn't make it too sour or whatever. It's really good. Um, another thing that I picked up that I wanted to talk about was this. I didn't know whether to get this for a family member, but I know I like these. These are exfoliating um, bath or shower gloves. And so it's really good. You know, they had the long, uh, it's like a scarf thing where you kind of scrub your back. I should have got that because sometimes... I, you know, not sometimes, a lot of times I'm trying to get my back. So as you can see, my hair, you know, I don't know. It shrink my hair just shrinks. So anybody got any um tips or whatever? Whatever. It you know, looks okay. And as you can see, I need to get my Tuesday I'm supposed to get my hair recolored. So to cover up the gray. But anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Goes my lunch. Shrimp, I think, yeah, three wings and some fries. Oh, 